Hello, I'm Lee Ashton of the Sales Consultancy. Thank you for joining me on this lovely day. We're in Epping Forest today and we're going to bring you some really useful sales tips that you can implement to generate more business. What I'd like to start with, um, first of all, is the principles that I use when I'm focusing on generating business for my own business and I refer to these as the five ultimate keys to success. Now the first one is that you absolutely know what you want, you clarify your outcome. So if it's targets then focus exactly on the target that you want to get. If it's a business objective then focus on the business objective. Just be clear in your own mind what your outcome, your desired outcome is. The second key to ultimate success is to take action and what I found in years gone by when I've been helping businesses to increase their sales is the biggest barrier to success is whilst people know what they want very often they don't take the action they need to take in order to get that so take action any action will do because even if the first action isn't exactly right then it will at least create momentum and get you off the starting block so take action and any action will do the third key to success is to be aware of the impact that your action is having so when I'm working in my business to generate sales I will be constantly measuring the success of what I'm doing and if it's not getting the success that I want, if it's not getting the impact that I want, that takes me very nicely to the fourth key to success which is to be flexible because if what I'm doing isn't working I need to do something else and if that doesn't work I need to do something else again and if that doesn't work I'll keep doing something different until I get the result that I want. Now. The fifth key to success is rapport, and I talk about rapport on two different levels. On the first level, it's about rapport with everybody that you come into contact with, because you never know how somebody is going to impact on the success of either your business or your sales. So always, always get into rapport with everybody that you come into contact with. Even if it's somebody who is just answering the phone because you don't know who they are and you don't know how they can influence a decision maker. On the second level when I talk about rapport, it's about rapport within yourself. Very often I come across people who hate picking up the phone to make cold calls. And if there's a bit of you that knows that cold calls is absolutely the thing you need to do to generate new contacts, um, and there's part of you inside that's thinking, oh, I really don't like doing this, um, this isn't me, I hate it, I hate rejection, then you can't give that 100% when you've got something pulling you back this way. So if you do find yourself in the position that you're out of rapport with yourself, ask yourself the question, what's the resistance here and what do I need to do in order to feel more comfortable, more at ease uh, to make these cold calls. So that's the five keys to success and if you implement those in your business or your sales strategy what you'll find is that you will generate more success, you will increase your levels of sales because it will help you to monitor what's working well so that you can do more of it and what isn't working so that you can change it. Let's move on. The <clears throat> Areas that you need to focus on in terms of getting started are firstly what's your offering? Do you know exactly what it is you offer? Very often I go into businesses and they tell me what they offer in terms of features we do. This product, that product, this service, that service. And that is not what your customers are buying. What is your offering to your target audience? And on target audience, who are they? Do you know who you really want to be working with? Do you know who your ideal target audience are? 
as soon as you know that you're able to distinguish the finer distinctions that make them want to buy from you what are their needs what are they um, trying to achieve either personally or in a business what are their pains and problems that they're having and once you've identified all of those things you'll be able to know exactly how your offering meets their needs so you'll be able to identify easily what's in it for them and once you've done that you'll be able to really tailor your offering to meet them so standing in their shoes if you like and for them to really have a desire to buy whatever it is that you offer I want to quickly cover a really great closing technique that I use and I've trained lots of people in this technique who've had really great success with it and um, that's um, a technique that I call what's the gap and this is the way I use it on a scale of 1 to 10 1 being Lee this is so far away from what we want in terms of training to 10 being this is exactly what we want. Can you deliver this training to our salespeople next week? Um, where would you say we are? And then I shut up. You ask that question and then you leave that person to think about what number they would equate that whole meeting to, to them. And it really doesn't matter what number they respond. Uh, you know, I'm really not attached to the number. Uh, obviously, it's better if I get an 8 rather than a 2. But what I'm really after is a response to the next question. And that question is, what needs to happen to get us to a 10? And what they will then respond with is what you need to do to close that sale. So they're going to actually tell you what you need to do in order to close that sale and how this works so brilliantly is that it really elicits the criteria of the person that you're selling to and also will help you identify how serious they are about buying from you um, once you've elicited their criteria to close that gap be sure that if it's something you can deal with straight away, deal with it there and then and close the sale. And if it's something that needs either for them to do more of or you to do more of, always be sure that the next action is yours so that you know when you need to go back to them or if it's something you need to do, make it clear to them how quickly you can get back to them. So I'm trying to give you as much as I can, but there's something that you really need to do with all of the videos that you will um, watch me uh, delivering sales tips and techniques, and that is that you use them in such a way that it's strategic. When you have your next meeting or your next presentation or you pick up the phone to talk to a prospect, you need to plan how you're going to use the things that you learn either on these videos or on my uh, Tricks of the Trade newsletter. So plan, plan, plan how you're going to use it and what's even more important than planning is that you assess afterwards the impact of what you did because you cannot improve, you cannot increase your sales unless you assess what you did that worked really well and what you did that actually wasn't as effective as you'd like and how you can change that and make that more effective for you. So I hope you've enjoyed these very few tips and techniques. Um, you can find more information on our website which is sales-consultancy.com You can also email me at lee, that's l-e-i-g-h at sales-consultancy.com And you can of course subscribe to our e-newsletter Tricks of the Trade which you'll be able to do on our website and if you need anything more personal than that, then please do contact me. You can reach me on 020 7538 0000 and I would love talking to you about your specific sales issues. And remember, please do contact me with your sales successes. Until next time, have fun.